Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Craven and welcome back to some more Civilization V Brave New World playing China in the Communitas mod pack expansion pack. They like to call it an expansion pack. Um, no, I have no interest in fighting Pocatello. They, they call it an expansion pack, I call it the mod pack because it's not really an expansion. Sure thing, yeah, I indeed found the capital of Venice. Because, uh, let's face it, if it was an actual expansion, then it would be official, you know, that. But on the other hand, it's a quite big amount of content added. So, okay, let's barrage. Almost killed it, almost. Almost getting rid of that hand axe. Mm -hmm. Okay. You follow through there. Ah, we're almost at Nanjing. We are still building a pasture. Good, good, good. Lots of cities being founded pretty soon. Oh, now it decides to go straight past this island for once. So we're going to get two world wonders about this roughly the same time. Nope, you're not getting my embassy. I do not want to give that to you in trade. Uh, comes with Bowman. Oh lord, no. Well, at least when we shoot that, the AI will move in first. Settler. Bowman. So that's uh, a way to use and abuse the AI system for barbarians, I suppose. If. Oh, wait, what? Oh, fine, whatever. Uh, sure, let's work together, Mr. Sweden. I do really like the harness you're wearing, so that's a good thing. So if we spot this barbarian, it will probably move left first. Cannot fortify yet, so it gets... Oh no, wait, what? Since when does this happen? Oh well, we'll start shooting back then. Um, hopefully we get them before they do us. What do we have here? Xian. Xian. Next to Mount Kilimanjaro. Which will instantly be worked, so it will get a lot of tiles pretty damn quickly. Because that's a lot of free area. Circus has been built. Let's get an arena. While we're at it, let's purchase a monument over here. And let's start working on a paper maker. The Byream is on its way to explore more. And, ah, yes, we finished our first farm. Let's have a second farm. All along the river, farms, farms, farms. So, Colt for turn 12. No. I'm not just going to give you free money. I mean, seriously? Influence change? Oh. Hail Selassie, so I guess this is a kind of a bug with the, uh, the way that tooltip works. We now know Ethiopia is in the game. And you can settle here. Well, does it really... Hmm. Well, we wouldn't get the fish if we'd settle here. And we would start competing even more with Nanjing. But I think this location is indeed better. For the sole reason that we would leave a... And again, it's still only a mountain. But it's going to be good for university to have more jungle. So we'll move one more. Uh, you shoot that thing. You almost kill it. But not completely, sadly enough. And last bit of road to finish... Research! Right, we have the abilities to build Chukonus. What I would really like now is the printing press. So we can start building the Forbidden Palace. So we'll go chivalry into printing press. Lumber mill production went up from uh, what we just researched. That's nice. Yes, four out of four. Mean van. They're actually going to give me more money now for just for the embassy. I don't mind at all, but I'm not still not going to give you the location of my capital. 
It's top secret. It will start shooting now. Oh no, it's starting to heal. Even better. Okay, so let's found this city. Chengdu. I think that's an N in between there. Yeah, Chengdu has been founded. Shoot this. Golden Age begins. Oh, a Golden Age. Ten turns have increased everything. Everything! Look here. 20% surplus food, production, gold, science, culture, and faith. Well, zero faith of... 20% of zero faith is still zero faith. So we're not getting any faith. Um, you're going to purchase a monument and produce a paper maker. So this... Is, oh, wow. It's actually working. The Eldorado. So it also gets a boatload of bonus culture. So two cities with two natural wonders in them. We also do need to settle a city down. I think this is the best spot. Yeah, we'll have the least overlap as well. We'll actually have no overlap. If we... No, we'll have this line of overlap. These three. So that location. And then maybe here. Probably not. Really? Composite Bowman was... Now they're starting to bombard me again. I'm... Oh, I would love to upgrade them right now, but that would cost me too much. Okay, yeah, I do need to attack them because I now get a rank up next uh, level. You can start building a road now. Okay, kill that. And then you kill that. At least if that's dead, it will stop actually blockading my territory. Wow, Venice is actually in a bay. It's a nice bay, actually. Hmm, maybe not the best location for Venice because all these bananas would have been so good. Yeah. It's still a grassland river, that's not a hill, so... Then again, the mountains are not the biggest priority in this uh, particular uh, game mode. So if I barrage, and they should die next turn, they cannot kill me that quickly. Yeah, that's a change that uh, observatories actually don't need the same amount of room as they do in... They they can be built on a double tile away from a mountain instead of just one tile next to a mountain. And they are heavily weakened in comparison. They only give you, what is it, 10% science rather than 50%. That's why mountains are really, really strong in uh, this game, in Civ 5. Everybody wants a mountain, just for that sole reason. Okay, that guy is weird, but whatever. Yay, destroy the bowman. You, actually, I'm gonna... If I kill it, yes, I kill it, so I'm gonna upgrade rather than give him more. Um, so you are gonna get volley and get the upgrade now. Kuchu Konu. A little bit less powerful when the range that oh wow, more Venice? Damn, they've been expanding. Um garrison units, no maintenance. Well, we'll get mentors right now. Uh, last one is great person rate, plus fifty percent and double sculpture border expansions for tiles that are far away. Machu Picchu has been built. Not that I really wanted it in the first place. Uh, what you get to do though is build me a work boat. Because these fish look adorable. Beijing, five turns now on the workshop. So yeah, Shanghai, that, that wonder terracotta army just instantly expands you. Just insane. Um, oh good. 53 gold. You, now, look. It can attack twice at 90% range strength. So one... To oh right, it had to run first, so that was a small derp, and I uh, bet I cannot get a open borders yet. Saluti. Uh, need an embassy. Vinivanti. Of Benissimo. course, we need an embassy si. to get open borders. Two gold per turn. I'm making enough money to warrant that expense for a little while. 
just that greedy bastard, Venice. He also settled, well, settled. He took a city-state right next to me as well. Another religion enhanced, Confucianism. Interesting choice, because we are kind of China and we should... Confucianism is Chinese, sort of, so we're getting back to Nanjing. Prague. Prague. Oh, right, yeah, it's it's not... It's Czechoslovakian, it's... Or Czech, basically. It's not actually a city within... Uh, and it can move. It's not within Austrian Empire, basically. It's not part of Austria. That's what I would... Uh, I was actually thinking at that moment, so... Oh, wow, Gangzhou has a lot of production because of all the quarries, of course. I love that. Actually, you there, um, you get a work barracks first, and then you can start building those things. Um, cannot get a stable yet. A lot of production bonuses when I do get it. Horseman, not yet. Let's build a try me. Or a try ream if you want to be exact. Oh, we're actually getting a great engineer in two turns. I think I bet it's gonna be in Shanghai. I don't mind that at all. We might just pump out uh High Magic Castle for free in Shanghai at that rate as well. Chivalry has been discovered, and uh, we get castles unlocked, we get knights unlocked, you can build a road, you can take the camp, that's a, for now, barbarian worker, probably been stolen by barbarians, wow, that was like a, um, that was a Captain Obvious moment, I guess. Wow, this is actually perfect, because we'll be in the next era, the Renaissance era, in 11 turns. And we need Renaissance for exploration, so we'll finish up tradition and go straight into exploration after that. And then there's our great engineer friend. So you will just get me Himeji Castle, because I can't be bothered actually building it, I will rush it. Um, you can upgrade now too. You can build a village here because you do have by far enough food production and all that water. You can keep running a bit. Just find... Oh, they actually didn't retake that worker. That's really odd, but okay, whatever. Um, National Epic, yeah, that's definitely one for uh, Beijing. Um, so let's start it. No, first another settler. I want to settle this location and have my island filled up, basically. Maybe here, still. Still a decent location, I guess. It's, it's quite far, actually, from Beijing. And another one, Ahmad Al-Mansur. So, that isn't... No, now I'm confused. It's Morocco, I think, yeah. Medieval, medieval... They just reached the medieval era. Salt ended to Gustavus. The Meiji Castle has been built. So now we can actually get some wonders. It's wondrous to get so many wonders, I suppose. And wow, there's more land here, everything. Caravan. Um, Guangzhou. You know what? I do need you in other places. Um, trade route overview. Trade routes available. Money wise. Yeah, just the first one I really need. We're making so much money that why should we do it? So production-wise, mm, can we reach Xi'an? Yes, we can. So you are going to Gangzhou. Uh, you can build me a fishing boat. Mm, social policy, yeah, that's annoying. I think that's uh, Morocco anyway. Yeah, by the way, you need to build a theater before we get our uh, great writer active. Uh, yeah, it's working. Wow, we're getting... We have five specialists in the city because it's apparently producing so much food. Um, great writer... Actually, that is in two turns that we're already getting it, so... A bit late on the theater, I guess. It's not an amphitheater, but a regular theater nowadays. Um, help. 
Civilizations and leaders, Morocco, that would be Ahmed Al Mansour, yes, so Morocco is in this game as well. So somewhere is Ethiopia, somewhere is Morocco. Min vän. Det är min really? Why would you give me your only pearls? That's a bit silly. That would be their only pearls they would give away. So just please give me your cotton instead. I don't want to impede on you that much. I mean, I like having free uh, good goods. Happiness turns to 15. Let's make more food. You can definitely start trading to Xi'an. And you, wow, just shoot it down. Chukunu. Ah, Vilnius, that's the capital of Lithuania, actually. And the place where the, my opponent of the last uh, game in the Angry Chicken Cup that I played was in. And if you haven't watched it, go watch it now. It's uh, some good matches for sure. So, yeah, I like playing that game. Uh, but not not as much as uh, other games for sure. Um, Armory. Ooh, more experience. But no, we'll just... Oh, not a horse boat. I misclicked. I wanted a Chukonu. I want to get at least one in every city. Because, well, maintenance of them will be free anyway when we finish up uh, tradition. So, might as well. And it will help have actually have a uh, military because we're tenth out of twelve right now. We're first in almost everything, second in two, and then tenth. We have that great rider born. There is a settler going. Yeah, actually, exactly the spot where I want to settle anyway. So, and that's bad-ish. You can shoot him from across the river, though. That's hilarious. Um, you can you still build this barracks? Well, one turn barracks, I will take it. Let's explore more. Yeah, banish you should have taken Arthur Conan Doyle. That would be Sherlock Holmes. And natural wonders for yeah that barbarian encampment. Bloody hell, that's not the best location ever, but whatever. At least we can get our chukunu on this hill and then just shoot it from no, no, there. No, um, no, you have nothing I like. You're not offering what I want. Churches of Lalibela, which we could not build anyway because we don't have... Heh. Zanzibar seeks a great merchant. What do I spot here? A merchant in 28 turns. Hey, try me. Let's explore more. Here's our Byrene. There's nothing else behind there. Caravan, yes, of course, keep trading with Vancouver because that's money. So much money, 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 money. Uh, try me finished. Barracks is all units. Armory was all units and, oh yeah, something completely different. Lighthouse will be more food but requires more workers to be active. So we'll build a granary first. It'll be three food worth because of our uh, wheat finished the barracks, so I shall build a Chukonu. Oh, that's actually quite slow to build then, I guess. Gangzhou really has production. No, 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 hey. Yes, you have 8 gold not in here, so give me 7. Then. Including an embassy, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> barbarian mercenaries joined the army of an unmet player. Lucky. But those barbarian mercenaries are actually quite good to get. Yeah. I got them once in a game playing as Russia. And, uh... Whew. Boy, did that give me lots of good stuff. I actually, I just got two pirate ships for free. I mean, the pirates that actually can shoot. And I didn't have any navy yet. That basically, basically got me a very good start of that game. Yeah. Actually not winning it anymore because of uh, two runaway AIs on a different continent. Because that's what just happens. That's why I'm expanding quite a lot right now as well. Just because I need to 
think this island is also quite nice to take. So there's gold here. I like gold. Um, sure, let's cross to get that. Build me a road, of course. Oh no, Vilnius hates us now. Pasture. Social policy, finishing up tradition. With city attack plus 50% from garrisons and no maintenance for garrison units. And also great people rate just improved dramatically as well. Beijing will actually grow to 50 now. Oh, Chichen Itza. Someone... Oh! So one of the two that got into the medieval era has already built Chichen Itza. Have to be careful there. That's quite an early one then. No, we lost food. At least food everywhere. Sovereign Wu Zaitan. Oh, hello. Jeez, more stuff. Let me buy Reem. Yes, explore more. Good, good, good. What were you trading? Um, production to Beijing. Um, hmm. Yeah, making it a coastal ship would be stronger. Ah, eh, screw it. Let's send more production to our capital. Might as well. Because it's quite strong. Anyway, is that... That's not adjacent to any river, so I don't need to prioritize a farm there. Um, you should also build a Chukonu. Yeah, have some protection here. Even though you're already so big. Ah, yes, the encampment. And there is someone on that hill right now, which I don't like. Well, on the forest. That's no hill, that's a forest. And I do want to settle there so I can also reach the salt as well. I mean, we, what would we get? We would get this tile of uh, jungle. That's not that useless, useful. A tile of jungle or a tile of salt. Yeah, that's... Uh, Salt is probably the best resource to have in your cities it's because they increase a lot more uh, because that's the only one that gives you uh, f you get food from the production but you also get uh, food from the quarry no the mine on salt ah let's retry that you get one production for building a mine on salt because it's a mine you also get one food from the mine because of it it being salt there we go was that so hard? Probably not. You're just going to go to Xi'an. You're going to go settle there. You, I definitely need just accuracy. And you can build me. Mint gives production to the gold we have. Well, extra gold to the gold we have. So I'll just build a workshop first. More production than other stuff. Oh, paper maker. That's why we got a boost in science. Um, a granary is fine. Oh, what do we get? What do we have? Possible border deal, one possible alliances, two. Interesting. Apparently, we have chances on alliances. Oh, and we lost um, Vancouver's gems. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna go give them a lot of money again. Yes, we have the printing press. Whoever desires to found a state and give it laws must start with assuming that all men are bad and ever ready to display their vicious nature whenever they may find occasion for it. Welcome to the Renaissance era. Interesting quote, by the way. And we get two spies because we are China. So that's a good thing. Um, you get to build that final road. You get to found a city in the Renaissance called Hangzhou. And what would I like to research next? Um, ooh, Red Fort. Um, yeah. Let's be really mean and just go straight for the Red Fort as well. I mean, I think I can afford researching ahead. Do we need any of these wonders? That's a national one. That's a national one. Anchor what? I don't really mind. Great Mosque, nope. Uh, and then there's the Porcelain Tower, maybe. And uh, this is a National Wonder anyway. And then there's Alhambra, that's about it. And of course they are going to try and get one of these quicker, but 
We are going to race to the red fort instead. Because that's much nicer. Okay, produce a monument. Well, or buy a monument also. Buy me a paper maker. So, shaves two turns off it. Not bad. And... While we're here, actually go back to produce. I want you to build me a lighthouse then, I guess. Or no, a granary would actually be better, because we're also building one here anyway. So, um, Beijing can start it next turn, because we're the first in the Renaissance. There's no competition just yet. And I forgot to actually put my spies out there. And spies are actually quite ridiculous, the way I've seen them operate in that Russia game. They start snowballing if they get higher ranked, so... But then the ace... Oh, hello! Um, the value of, our, of your currency is rising and the resulting trade imbalance risks hurting exports to Vancouver. Set a fixed exchange rate to allow exports to continue unimpeded so we could get 70 influence for 200 gold, which is extremely good. And act loss to strengthen your currency further at the expense of the city state, we would gain 200 gold for 70 influence. Or let them your minister of finance handle it. Hell no, we're gonna set a fixed exchange rate. So we I wanted to spend a thousand gold right now, and now I don't have to. Which is because of that. Hello, Panama City. More and more city states appear. And shoot that. Why not? Again. Um yes, accuracy and alert mode. You can start on the Forbidden Palace. Taj Mahal, Nanjing, well, could try, could try. Let's actually just build it here. Again, we're so far ahead now in tech. It's funny. Well, we're not really far ahead in tech, we just decided to... Oh, I forgot the spies again. Anyway, we're going to send one to Stockholm, and I think one to Venice, yeah. Those should be two really good places to have them in. And since that's one of the main reasons to not give up uh, an embassy in your city too early. Because they can spot your uh, city and send spies there. So you are actually going to move to Venice as a spy. And you I'm going to send home then. Because that's... What are the names? Sun and Wu. Sun Wu. Only thing we need is Kong. And then we have Sun Wu Kong. Anyway, I think we're going to end the episode right here. We have um, settled quite a few cities. We've settled three cities in, a, in this episode. Chengdu, Hangzhou, and Xi'an. So, and we reached the Renaissance area. Era. Not the... Eh, Renaissance area. Did I just say that? I guess I did. Anyway, we're going to go build the Forbidden Palace. And after that, the Red Fort. I want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys later.